Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's Captain of Industry, and we are expanding our farms once more because it's it's just needed, okay? It's just necessary. This one didn't have to be upgraded. Um, I wanted to upgrade this pipe, but I should have done it after I went this way, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, I say. Okay, so we're going to put this on the corner, bringing this all the way over here. We are going to have a wonderful time getting... I think I'm gonna lift this up to level three just because it's near all the all the big guys, right? And uh, who doesn't need to be this far out though? So we're gonna go even closer, like say here, and then all the way over like so. This is fine. This is fine. So we're gonna have level threes all the way over here just because we're getting close to the yeah the big the big excavators. You get it. We can we can speak. We're, we're good at speaking. Very good at speaking. Uh, so they should hopefully be able to go underneath here and then around. But if they're trapped in here, I need to do something about that. And uh, one of the things I could do is maybe just lift these pipes up a little bit and let them go through here. So I may lift this up to level three. We'll see. It's not too hard to do. Um, but one thing it does need to be done is I need this to go from here to here. And it looks like it's going to have to just whip around a little bit to do that, which actually this is fine. Little curly cue. I'm all right with that. Yeah, that looks good. Some may even say it's cute. Like a little pig nose. It's my pig pipe. That's what this is called now. This is now called my pig pipe. Uh, that's a great name for it, huh? No? Nobody's with me on that? All right, no big deal. All right, uh, there we go. Yep. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of pipes. We're going to go ahead and deliver these. Deliver that. Yep, let's get this set on potatoes. Followed up with... No, follow it up with this. Yep, potatoes. And follow it up with that. There you go. And finally here, potatoes and greens. Okay. So these fields, right, they're gonna they're gonna be watered. Everything's gonna be fine. Brand new fields. Cool? Cool. Now we're probably gonna need some extra water pumps. Good thing I came prepared to do that. Um, I'm gonna place it right here actually. One, two, three. So it's supposed to be. I believe it's supposed to be right here because that would be exactly in the middle. This gives me the ability to put two more in there. Yep. So right here. Uh, and then this little pipe goes up just like the rest of them. There we go. Uh, and so we're going to get some extra pump or an extra oil, an extra water pump. That's what it's called. Yep. Extra water pump, just getting water into circulation for the system, okay? Now, these pipes are probably going to be just maxed out, so we're probably going to get bottlenecked that way. But um, I'm thinking of also redirecting another pipe around them and uh, sort of hooking it up, you know, directly with our agriculture system. We'll see. I don't know if that's going to be necessary or not, because these things only go off every so often. They don't go off all the time. So, you know, when they're not going off, the water just sits in the pipes usually. And we also collect a lot of water during the rainstorms and stuff too. So there, we should be all right with water, I think, for a while. But the, big, the biggest thing, though, is I want to make sure we're always kicking out a ton of food. All right? So that's what we're working on now. Next thing we're working on, make sure we have no cargo at all in the ship. We're good to go. Okay. So we did this, this cargo thing here. Uh, I kind of want to go explore a little bit more. But before, I, I have to have, keep up on the oil, right? Um, so I kind of like, I want to go to these different areas. So I think what I'm going to do first, I'm going to load cargo here and then I'm going to go hang out and see what this is all about. And then I'll bring back, get the cargo again and then go. So I, I kind of want to do some exploration, but, um, oh, I kind of wish I had another boat. Maybe there will be a way to do that. As far as research goes, I've done a lot, but there's done a lot of things that I haven't been able to use. One of them is cargo depot. And so I'm wondering if the cargo depot is uh, a repaired cargo ship can dock here and transfer its cargo via attached cargo depot modules. Yes. So um, I'm thinking I can get another cargo depot, right? And bring more stuff in. But the uh, I think the problem with this is really going to be space because they're actually quite large. Um, I might be able to, to, to get one like over in this area if I can flatten this out. Um, and I've been working on flattening this out too. So this this is also a possibility is having one over here. 
Um, maybe even right here would be cool. That'd be kind of nifty, actually, go, to go this orientation with it. So, um, like, I want to I wanna have another cargo dock, right? Um, we'll have this flattened over here. Eventually, I'm going to have this whole thing flattened. We can have probably some cargo docks around here, too. But um, this is going to allow us to trade a little bit more, I think, which is uh, always a good thing. So we'll be looking at that. We definitely will. Um, let's go ahead and maybe unpause that and unpause this. Now, for this, I want to get... I need to redo this pipe, all right? So um, I need to lift it up and have it go all the way across. But this is going to bring the nitrogen over to this area where we are going to do our fertilizer. And that is not done yet. It is on the list of things to do. Maybe I can remove this from the queue and I think I want to remove, well, I'd like to remove this from the queue, but it doesn't let me. That's odd. So I guess they'll have to do you first, followed up. Oh, I get it. You're required in order to do this one. Ah, I see. No big deal. All right. So we'll let construction. Yeah. I bet the chemical plant probably requires level three construction parts. That's probably why. So we're going to get into level three construction parts soon too. That's going to be nice. Yeah, nice too. So this whole area here is where we're going to be making our fertilizer eventually. And you can see they're, they're, you know, filling it in. Huh? Today's the day. Probably going to be a lot of hurry up and wait, but today's the day where we're going to see if our underground pipe idea actually works as intended. They are making this whole thing flat. Everything is valid. Looks pretty good. Let's not touch it. Let's just let it be. Um, but I am going to want to do something like this where we go about like, uh, I think it's going to be this way. Yes, this way. And then like this, and then like this, and then we go uh, flip it over, go like this, and like this, and like this. Okay, and then um, this pipe ends up co connecting here. Okay, so uh, that's that's the plan for oxygen. Now you might be thinking, what the heck's going on with the pipes? They're not connected. What's what are you doing? Okay, I know. So this pipe is going to end up coming off of this end. Nope, not like that. This pipe goes off this end, comes around and sticks into that end, which in turn will fill this tank and allow this tank to distribute its oxygen via this new pipe, which is just a little bit off. Could have went a little bit further, right? And you know what? We probably can actually. Let's just kind of do that. Let's just go like this. And then we can just delete this. Oh, am I gonna, is this messing with it? Oh, I hope it's not. Oh, I hope it's not messing with it. Okay, so far so good on them being able to fill this in because that's all I want them to be able to do. Um, I'm gonna delete this and hope that they don't yell at me for doing that. I'm playing with fire here. So they should be able to fill all this in. Should be nice and flat and everything should be good to go. But once it's flat, this pipe basically just goes right into this little hill and we never see it again. So this whole oxygen supply, right? Everything is oxygen. And that's the way it's gonna be, all right? So we go again, oxygen here. Uh, I really don't actually need to do that. All I need to do is this, that, yep. And then that will deliver the oxygen around. And now all this oxygen can be created, which is gonna be nice, yeah? So it'd be great. Um, let's just get a few more people because we can. And um, the next thing we want to do is I need to get this pipe gone because it is it's lifted up and we don't need it lifted up anymore like this. So one thing I should do is I want to copy this arrangement right here. So I wonder if I can just can I just can I do that? No. Eh. It'd be nice if I could just like copy this and the pipes. But it doesn't copy the pipes with it, unfortunately. So uh, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, see. we'll figure it out. So it's gonna go just like here, or is it here? I think it's here. If I go back like that with this pipe, can I connect you and then you? Yep, just like that. Cool. All right. So this pipe needs to be remade because I cannot merge onto, you know. It's, it's too high up, right? It's this angle. I can't do it. So I need to kind of do something like this. 
Uh, yep, delete you. Goodbye. It's going to get rid of the nitrogen supply temporarily. And we'll just pay the unity to remove it. And what I want to do then is to get a pipe kind of lifted up and across this. I, I want this to be over more. I, I'll probably have a little bit of zigzag here, and that's going to have to be fine. Um, but I want you to be lifted all the way up and going this way. And then we're just going to take and merge it like so. I mean, I, I could actually just do something like this. If I really wanted it to be like, you know, the future proofness of it, I would just go all the way over. And I think I will just because I think it looks better. So we will remove this whole pipe right here. That whole thing will be gone. This is the new, the, you know, the, the new, new thing right here. Uh, we'll come like this straight in and then up and connect like that. Looks pretty good. Um, and then you, I think went a little bit too far. So we'll pull you back a little bit about here and then straight up like that. Okay, good. That's all the pipes we needed. We'll just go ahead and quick deliver this stuff. Let's get this out of the way. We'll use the unity to remove it and make it all sped up and stuff. And then you end up with, you know, a much cleaner looking piping system back here that lets all the nitrogen, not the steam, the nitrogen, to just leave these facilities, right? I think that's a great thing. So we'll just deliver all these and they'll, I think this should start up full output. Oh, right, we don't have the output, of course. Uh, so oxygen, of course, needs to be outputted. Uh, so we're gonna have another pipe right here and it's gonna go along this side probably right along like this connect like that and then this is just gonna hook up there it looks like it can be a small pipe looks like we we can get away with it being a small pipe so we'll do that and then yeah let it go do the whole do the whole unity thing just just get it done all right so these things should now be operating as the oxygen pumps through the pipes into the tanks. Half of it's going to go this way. Half of it's going to go this way. And it'll fill up these tanks. And then it gets distributed all the way around the map. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Speaking of distributing. Oh, you know what it is? You don't have anything else to fill it in. You're not. Yeah, you're not building anything. You're not. You're not filling it in with anything. Um. Hmm. That's a good thing. So uh, I wanted to disclose this to you too. I've been kind of trying to avoid it with the camera, but I'll just show you anyway. I'm building another trench. I like this idea. I like what I saw here. I'm building another trench and I'm gonna build it down here all the way across like this. And it's gonna allow us to hook up the water and stuff that we're gonna do over this side. And all of that is gonna then get hooked up to the system, uh, but we're gonna be able to build our town over top of it. And so we'll be able to have water transfer there. Now, what I haven't figured out yet is whether or not I want the pipe going in this direction or that direction. Um, because I might actually put the water services over here. And if I do that, then this can just continue on and in. Uh, but if I keep the water services right here, which currently it is, but it's just getting kind of tight, right? It's like there's a lot of, I don't know, there's space in here and I kind of want to free it up. So I might actually move this over here, which is actually cleaner for the wastewater too, because then I don't need this whole thing. So I'm just thinking of the future and how I want it. I know it's a little bit of a waste of resources, but I may actually end up having water surfaces over here. Uh, and if that's the case, then this pipe will just continue in this direction. And if I decide to leave it over here, then the pipe will continue in that direction. And that's uh, real nice and easy, yeah? All right. Um, we're also gonna have some farmland over on this side too, because there's really a whole lot of nothing in this area. And so um, farms will be here too. Uh, yeah, so now you know my plan, but there's another trench being, being dug and uh, they're, they're getting on it, right? Stacking up the sand over here. But you know, to fill this in, they need stuff. They need them to, the, the dirt and stuff. And I really wish they could just, you know, take whatever they're digging here and just put it over there. But it just seems like the trucks don't actually deliver it to dumping sites unless it's in the square of influence for these things. You know, that's what it seems like. I wish that wasn't the case. Um, one thing I guess I could do 
I almost deleted this and I would have been, I did delete it. <gasps> oh no, please don't, please don't. No, no, autosave, save me. <laughs> okay, so it does look like the trucks are making their way over here to dump some more stuff, which is nice. Um, I went ahead, autosaved it, right? I only had to retrace back to making this pipe and stuff. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, so I'm going to have them actually start digging away this mountain, which like I'm only going to do it flat like this, but I figure it will give me extra coastline. Uh, that's that's the, the goal anyway. We'll see how that works. Um, but mostly I'm just trying to get ammunition, if you will, to fill in this hole. So uh, that's what we're trying to do. And I think that will probably work out OK. Now, I've also changed up water just a little bit here. So you see how this pipe comes in and everything, and that's cool. Uh, we have this extra pipe now. Um, so I'm going to go too wide on this because I think we're pushing enough water through here now where it's I'm just going to quick deliver it so we can get going. We're pushing enough water, generating enough water that we just simply cannot like these things are constantly waiting and I don't want them to be. I want them to be a bit more efficient. So now they can start, you know, pumping away at this reserve status. I never actually saw this before. Shows the overall status of the reserve of groundwater. Groundwater is replenished during rain and can temporarily run out if pumped out too much. So we're at about 79%, 80% right now, uh, and that's good. And if I start seeing the reserve status drop in this groundwater source, then I need to have more rain collectors so that I'm using more rainwater. Uh, and I'm collecting it over here. I don't even know if that matters, but I'm collecting it over here instead of over there on the high ground, if you will. Um, so we can actually expand this if, you know, it's given that that's 79%. So I can bring this over, for example, and just be like one here, one here. Probably should hold shift again. Uh, one here. Uh, we can come over like this, right? And we, we just make more of these and uh, collect more of the rainwater, I guess. And so we'll just have the pipe temporarily. I guess it'll... I could just come off of this, but I'm going to start here and then we're going to go all the way around like this. Yep. And we'll go straight through. Is that lined up? It looks like it's lined up. Yep. Right there. Uh, same thing here. This one can come over. I would actually like this to be much tighter. Um, like the other one was, but it doesn't look like it's going to let me do that. Uh, it might actually if I go like I go like this this just like the conveyor belts did if you do it first then you can normally connect it yep that's better so let's delete this uh, and then so you want to kind of link them up really tight so if we go like this to here that'll work and then over yep and then over like so and down down and in and then you go like this and then you connect there and then all we need to do is just connect these ends and i love the piping system in this game um really just it's really good and i'm not even using the pathing thing like if you hold control you can get this to like i don't know do any number of weird combinations and it'll just like auto path wherever you want it to go um, this is a really bad example of doing that, but like it, it has some pretty intelligent placements and stuff and I, I really like it. I, I genuinely think it's superior to most games I've played. So I'm um, genuinely very good at that. All right, very, very good with this. Um, I'm gonna leave this open a little bit. I might do something new here. Uh, you can see the iron quarry is actually getting a little drained. Huh? I mean, there's a, there's plenty of iron in this, but um, like I'm diving in here and I, I feel like Maybe I should have ramped up. And um, so I might do that actually here with this. I might tell them instead of on this side, what I might tell them to do here is to, they haven't actually finished this ramp yet. Although the ramp is pretty much done. Um, what I might do tell them to do here though, is to ramp up instead. So instead of going flat, what you're going to do is you're going to go like so all the way up the side at least to 10 right so you'll you'll keep mining although i really i think you need to 
Yeah, I won't be able to do that. I think you have to come from the top down. Yeah, that's probably how this will have to be. So why don't we flip this over and we'll say from this side, I want you to make your way down about like this. We'll say plus six. And then you're going to go like the six all the way over here. Right. And then um, we'll turn and get you to go down to at least plus two. Actually, you know, like plus three could be cool, I guess. This might be interesting to see if they actually pull this off. And then we'll come down on this side. Down to, is it plus one? Minus one. That's good. All the way down to minus one here. And then it just gets connected like that. Okay. So this will be a new way of doing it. <laughs> uh, and let's just make this new area. And we'll go about like that for you. Seems good. All right, good. Uh, and then, of course, I could also have them go deeper here as well, but we're already way over on our iron just because I haven't been... I've been focused on the trenches. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this is getting pretty filled in, though. I'm liking it. And uh, there's no pathing issues anymore, which is really nice. Uh, we can go ahead and load the cargo here. That's 516. No, 1368. Okay. Um, I, want you, I want you to visit here, though. And then we'll, we'll go back through... Uh, to get that the oil and stuff but as long as we have some fuel in this tank then i know that we're not completely drained and we should have no we don't have any in this tank so we we have we do have a fuel problem right now right and it's just we don't have enough of these and we don't have enough food coming in but now we do we have a lot of food coming in now it looks like so now it's just a matter of getting the fuel gas going and, and serving this so that it can make more fuel oh, yeah because it's definitely not an oxygen issue so we can now grab this and I want to put some more of these in here. So um, we're going to grab. Uh, well, do we want to do this, though? On this side? That's That was the original plan was to do it on this side. But now I'm looking at the dirt and I'm thinking, eh, I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, the dirt comes out. So I want to line it up. <sighs> OK, I've been defeated. I got away, though. So there's pirates everywhere. I really got to get weapons. That's the, that's the new meta. <laughs> Run away from pirates. I need to get, uh, I need to get new weapons. So it looks like it's not quite flat here. I am curious. So this is situated on that, that curve, right? So I can't line this up, but what I could do is get it to be lined up here and here, and then have another one over here. So that's doable. It just won't be exactly the same, but it'll still be lined up with like where the pipes come in and everything. My other problem I'm going to have though, is that this pipe is raised, so I can't go really tight on it. So I'm going to have to come off about like this probably. I don't think this will reach, but we'll see. Uh, from here. Yeah, it doesn't reach. It's too, it's too close. So we'll pull this back just a little bit more. Uh, I think it was, this was too close. So one more and then, uh, this should hopefully reach what's going on here. Maybe it wasn't too close collision with terrain. Oh, did you guys not flatten this? Oh, interesting and a half. Now I'm, I'm curious. Can I? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. Now, if I go up this high, I can go right along the side of this belt here. And then I'm wondering if it'll let me do that. I hate that it's colliding with that, that terrain, though. I don't want it to do that. We'll go about, I'll try going back a little bit more first. One, two, three. Does this work? I'm, I'm okay with it if... No, it's it's genuinely just colliding with the train immediately. All right, so I, I kind of have to tear this down, don't I? Either that or it all has to be risen up, which I don't want that either. Damn. Uh, new idea. This won't look as clean. 
I mean, I, I could also just keep going this way, and I, I probably could do that. Um, but the other idea maybe would be doing this. It won't look as clean, but it might work. So I'll go about here with it. Uh, well, I'd have to stack this back up, but... Okay, so I've decided that the only way I'm going to be able to toot this is to raise the terrain. Um, so I want everything at 5. This side is at 5, so let's raise this up to 5. Uh, that's going to make this part a little bit more challenging, but I'm kind of trying to limit how high I go and how, you know, like, at what point we go up here, right? I'm kind of trying to limit that a little bit. Uh, I've removed the belts and everything here, so that's going to make that part more challenging. And, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know if this is going to work, but again, I, I need this higher in order to actually connect this the way I wanted, unfortunately. So uh, they're going to start bringing in all the dirt from this tank. Thankfully, we got a bunch of dirt stored up. Uh, they're going to start bringing that over, I think, and plugging this in. Um, they, have, they still have to fill this in, too. But uh, I kind of want this done first so that I can continue and make additional fuel. Because I need my fuel supply to keep going up. Um, it also looks like when I remade it, I didn't I didn't connect this again. I kind of forgot to do this. My autosave. So uh, we'll do that. And that means this should now be oxygen. And everything will just flow into here. So it means this stuff can keep working now, which is nice. And so once we get this raised up, uh, we'll have basically a carbon copy of this right next to it. And then I can do something different with the belts. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure what to do. I'm, I was thinking of maybe if I raise it up high enough, it's, it's a little bit weird, but if I raise it up high enough, I kind of want to go over top of the storage. Um, but I may have to just get away with going up like this. Yeah, and then it'll go right next to it like this. Oh, actually, that's, that's not bad. Can I just go straight to that? No, but what about here? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes, yes I can. Uh, we'll just come right straight down from here. Oh, that's actually not nearly as bad as I thought it'd be. Oh, but it's not connected to the door. That's that would that's explaining it for me. There, yep. And then, oh wow, you actually will just do this. Is that a temporary thing, or I I really thought this train would be in the way. And then what about going this way? Can you can you still do that? You can. Okay, I'm in. No, that's that's fine. That that works. Cool. No problem. Um, yeah, just deliver that and get going. And as long as you guys can keep raising this terrain, I'm I'm good with it. We'll bring this up to the right level so it's actually you know flat, and then I don't have to worry about the terrain being a problem. Uh, and then we need to get these two things done too. So we'll have another one of these. Um, flip it over. Pause it, go here, and then flip it over again. Go one, two, uh, one, two, three, is it? I think, like this, right? And then this whole thing hooks up like that. So I believe that's how that will go. Uh, we'll just have you go this, this way. I believe it goes up to level two. And then straight down from here, right? Into the central tank here and here. Yep. And then this lower tank is the oxygen supply, which goes straight over like so. And then we'll hook up like that. And it could be a single tank, but I, I've already done that one. So whatever. Right here and in. Good. And then the back pipes go this way which i can probably connect that but i think it's probably best for it to have its own setup just because of the the volume that it will be coming out oh it's only four carbon dioxide i i think actually that's fine i can hook this up to the same stack potentially here um let's go pipe from here and then we're gonna raise it up just so i can get it over top of this yeah, eventually I have to bring it back into here though. Does that even work though? Ooh, I don't even. I'm not even sure this will allow me to do this. Yeah, because it's really tight in there. Uh, I could technically hook it up to like this part maybe. 
Like, imagine... Yeah, it doesn't work. That's okay. It'll look cleaner with its own stack anyway. It's not that much extra resources to just to have it look good. So we'll have it bring all the way over like so. It's fine. And then um, just for the sake of it, we'll go like that. And then this pipe will go that way. And then you'll go that way. So that you'll be hooked up and ready to go just like this side. And then um, for the fuel sources, right? We want the fuel. We're gonna upgrade this line and upgrade this. Uh, this is already upgraded? It's already upgraded, okay. So upgrade this line and then we want the fuel to go in from here. It needs to hook up to this line here. Uh, you're not gonna let me do this, are you? You're gonna be difficult with me, aren't you? How did you... Oh, you went over it. Yeah, no, that's that's what I want. I want it to go over it. Can you just go over it? Please? Whatever. It's cool. Yeah, like that. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look as good. No, I like the natural way you went over it before. Why did you go over this before? Like, that was super cool how you just... You did that automatically. Maybe it... No, it's totally lined up, so... Now it's trying to go around it instead of... Oh, you know what it might have been? It might have been just the fact that there are tanks here. But the tanks prohibited it from doing it, and because of that, it did what it, it did what it did. Uh, yep. That's what it was. It does that if you have the tanks there already, which is what I want, so that works for me. Okay. So all of this set up just so we can make additional fuel with food. We're gonna use food for fuel. Huh? It's pretty good. I think it's gonna work out okay. I hope so. I don't actually need this up there, I don't think. But I can let you do it a little bit more. This side would be nice for you to do. And then, uh, I don't like I'm gonna get in your way, but you, we really need that plugged in more than this, so. I'm hoping they get on this. I'm hoping it's not canceled and it's just not showing me that it's not canceled. You know, that would be a real drag. All right, that's gonna be level. And so we should now be able to do this, I think. Let me, uh, let me try it out. So I don't know if I need that spot because I'm gonna line up here. Well, I mean, if I'm, my third one's probably gonna have to be here though. So maybe I should have that spot. We don't probably don't need that though. So we'll let them do that one spot right there and then call it a day. Um, so we should be able to line this up now. I really hope you don't give me such a hard time anymore. So one and then two. Oh, almost. Nope. Uh, I need to take a step back, I guess, because that's still in the way. I'm okay with one step back. I'm not okay with two. Here and then it'll be right here. Okay, so this is done. Okay, so we don't we don't need that anymore. Now, is it though? <laughs> It's got to hook up, right? So, um, fuel gas to here. Excellent. E, two for two. One more. Come on. That works. Now the belts. Need the U-shaped conveyor to work too. Got it. And got it. And got it. Okay. Now, we need this belt with the food to deviate slightly and go this way. And then it'll just go like, whoops, wrong one. There and like there. And then we'll just have all of you quick delivered so we can start this process. I believe I have enough workers. I do not. Uh, wait. I do. <laughs> and also this part and this part. This part. See, now all we need to do right, is just ramp up more food. I think the farms are a really great way to make fuel. I, just, I really do. Because, I mean, they're going to use your groundwater, of course, right? Because you're going you're gonna to have this. And then eventually we have greenhouses, which are even more effective at making food, right? But I just like the fact that you can, for 16 workers, right, you make everything you need. It's just food. And, it, and it's, then it's the dirt, right? The dirt is the thing you have to deal with at that point. So where does the dirt gonna come? Where is that gonna go? 
Uh, well, we need to bring that pipe around. We need to bring that belt back around, right? So we go like this, and then we are going to have to lift it up a little higher just to get it over top of this part. Almost. There. Yep, and then we can bring it around. Uh, I could probably leave it up a little bit. I mean, I kind of don't like where these tanks are anyway, but... Um, yeah, I'm not going to change it. Oh, oh, that's that's what I want, though. Just... No, no, go in a straight line. Yep. And then... No. Okay, be difficult then. See if I care. It's true. I really do actually care. You should probably stop being difficult with me. Please stop. Oh, hold this. Got it. Good enough for me. Go. And that will give us our dirt back in here. We'll have our nice jars of dirt all the way back in. Let's quick deliver that. And no. Yeah, unpause that. And we should have this up and running now, I believe. Yep. So now it's just a matter of like actually pumping fuel gas through this line enough to saturate it and forcing me to put two lines right here. Your move, game. Your move. We have food on both belts fully fully ready to go. Yep, and they're making it too. So here comes the dirt. And here comes the fuel gas. Should anyway. There it goes. It's going to go to both of these. And we should see, hopefully, we should see every stack. Like both of these stacks should be going, right? I don't have enough people, but I'd like to get more people. Okay, so um, that's uh, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I go into this, I go into videos thinking I'm going to have a task. I'm going to do something, and then I get, you know, distracted, hardcore distracted by just the little things. You have to do the little things, you know. And then look at this. they're going to fill this in. Oh, it's going to look so good. Oh yeah. Then we'll start making our fertilizer right here. Yep. And then um, this pipe gives me room for an extra pipe to come in and do things because it might saturate the full thing. I think it looks like it kind of is. Yeah, I think it might. It might actually be. Granted, these things have that. They're gonna they're gonna wait in the queue, so they'll distribute them over time. So you'll see that it'll fill up a little bit of a bar here, and then it slowly dwindles down. And as long as this isn't filling up, then we're constantly flowing, and that's okay with me. As long as we have constant flow. Uh, I don't have enough to get more people yet, but that's okay. How's my trench? Getting close. Oh, I don't know which direction I want to face it, but I think the thing is, I don't have to know yet. And I could just leave this open right here until I figure it out because this would allow cars to travel through here. But I mean, really, they can travel through here anyway. Like if they really want to enter from this side and go all the way over. Uh, and then I think there's a small ramp right here that they can uh, go up and down to. So, but yeah, there's our little colony. Huh? It's growing. I put a farm right here. I don't know if you noticed that. I'm gonna put another one over here too. I'd like to. It won't let me because of the mine, but I can go a little bit staggered or I can go this way. And I think this way is probably better. The only thing I question is where the coal is. Okay, so I think I could probably just deal with having one right here and then one right here. That seems fine to me. So we'll just take and go about like right here. And then go right up next to it, nice and tight, right there. This is good enough. And then we'll go right up next to it, there. Okay. And then uh, this pipe will then go this way. Okay, see what I'm doing here? Kind of want to go height three though with it just because you never know and i'm also going to have fertilizer and stuff piped in through here too so we'll have a lot of fertilizer to do too uh this is height three okay bring it all the way around this way and then uh i guess we'll go this direction with it we can probably go yeah we, eh, i, I want to leave room for the trucks at least go height two it's fine all the way like so to here and then we cut this direction uh, but we don't need to do that with these pipes we can get away with it being the smaller pipes that do this uh, again I don't want to cut off the 
I don't want to cut off the fertilizer. So bring it out to over and in. That works for me, but it doesn't look very good. Um, I think I'd rather go one more out with this. And then down from here. Better. And then over from here. Keep it up to level two. And then to here and then in. Okay, so two more farms going in right over here, and it doesn't really get in the way of coal at all. Very tip of this farm, not a big deal. I'm pretty sure we can probably make that work and just mine all the way up to the edge of the farm. It's not a big deal. And if it is, if it's gonna prevent us from having it, then it's kind of like, I wanna say it's kind of whatever, because it's only a very small amount of coal shouldn't do that much to us actually uh, quick deliver the stuff for the water pipe it's a lot of gold actually a lot of gold construction parts were just used and then of course we need a lot more workers so like this many farms right does take a lot of workers but we're gonna turn these on low priority anyway so these should be like yeah priority nine jobs so I'm not really concerned about a worker shortage because they'll come you know we built it so they will come right that's what i was i was told anyway that's how that works um and you're seeing 5,000 second queue for the trucks again i'm not concerned about it as long as everything is still flowing smoothly there are a few trucks that just can't really get where they need to go and they're sitting there waiting i'm okay with that um it's not it's not a big deal also this guy's a little bit weird though the small excavator sitting i didn't know i had an excavator available spare excavator um, how are we doing on coal? I haven't checked on coal in a while. Looks pretty good over there. Looks good there. This tank is actually getting close to full. I don't think we need another one here. Um, you, you're just building the trench. It's not that important. I think, um, maybe iron. Maybe we'll give another one to iron. Yeah. So again, I, I don't, I don't mind this as long as everything is flowing. If there's a few trucks waiting, Mostly it's like this one here. This is all of this idling is, is racking up this, right? And it's all, it's, it's this, you know, here's, here's the trucks that are waiting. If you're wondering this right here, we don't have anywhere to send copper. Okay, cool. You know, cause your tank's full cause we're not using it very fast. Right? So they're going to sit here and the longer they sit here, it ranks up the averages, brings up the averages. Right? So which one's this one? That's a truck, no big deal. Uh, idle, idle. Yep, iron's doing the same thing. I don't really see a whole lot of idling here though. 14 trucks idling, but meh. Again, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Once we get this cut out again, I'm pretty sure I can fit another farm right here. This is awesome. This is so, so cool, you know? I'm having a good time with this game. I hope you guys are too. This has been a lot of fun, especially since I started the trenches. Because now I feel like I'm doing something at least a little bit different, you know? Like, it's not the same as everybody else. If there's one thing I really don't want to do, it's I don't want to do everything the same way as everybody else does it. Because, like, you guys seen that already. That's, that's what it means to do it the same way as everyone else does it. You know? And sometimes that means not doing it the optimal way. Sometimes that means not min-maxing it. Sometimes that means just doing it because it's fun. Or doing it because it's different. And even if it's worse, it's still different. And you know, sometimes in games anyway, I like to do it that way. In real life, I'll, 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 I'll go with what works, but uh, you know, if I know it, I'll do it what works, but yeah, in games, it's, it's fun. So now if I ever wanna, if I ever wanna select this entire pipe underground, I can click here and this will give me the whole pipe. Uh, I can also upgrade it and click it from here and that will give me the whole pipe too. Great. All right. So steel. Let's talk about steel because we have a lot of iron we're going to need to get. This mining tower is going to stay and it is going to manage another iron source, right? So we are going to have more iron mining than we already have. Uh, and I think this thing here is probably not necessary. I just wanted to see if they'd do it, but they're going to prioritize this instead and, and that's fine. So what I'm going to need for steel, do I have enough time in this video? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I do. Tell you what, we'll lay it out really quickly, okay? 
So for steel, probably won't be able to do it quickly because it's me, but uh, steel. We need a molten iron. That's the main thing we need. So we already know how to do that, right? And then we take the oxygen furnace with the molten iron and we make molten steel. So the first thing is, of course, molten iron. So let's go into the very basics of buildings, right? We're looking for blast furnaces, unless there's a better one now. Cooled caster. Uh, yeah, we metal caster. No, thanks. Uh, nope. I'm pretty sure that's all we need is the blast furnaces. So these will make from iron a little bit of coal. Uh, it will make eight every 20 seconds. All right. So we're looking at 24 per minute. And this thing's going to take 16 every 40 seconds, which is exactly what we need. So we need a one to one ratio of blast furnaces to oxygen furnaces. Okay. Easy. So we're going to probably have to design this in such a way I, I want to slag, right? Like slag is always going to be a problem, but we'll make do. So I'm thinking we start the blast furnace for first. We need like storages, right? So we can get storages over here. Um, right where this pipe is. So I, I think we'll move like this. Yeah. Right. Like this. And then over, let's say maybe here. I just want them to not have to deal with pipe, right? So I, I want them to, the trucks need to be able to move through here. So we'll say that we get the storage and do we do two? I think we can handle two. Yeah, two, two of the storages. Uh, then the blast furnace, we'll come over here. Blast furnace will pick up the iron. We can put this right up against it. That's fine with me, uh, right up against it. I think just like, yeah. Yeah, because I, I might want to deviate it, right? Like over here, we did this, right? The the storages, they feed directly in, actually. No, never mind. Okay, we're good. So I think we just save ourselves on the belts. Though I do like seeing it go in. I do actually like seeing it move. We'll try, we'll try it like this. All right, so we're going to do this. And then we're going to copy this and go right next to this. Uh, do we want to put space between it? Probably gonna put, yeah, the the smokestacks. How did I? How did I do it over here? I didn't do it very efficiently over here. That's why I'm trying to, like, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna get these things closer together. But it looks like I just alternated, which I guess is fine. I can I don't think the alternation is the part of the is the problem that I was having. I think the problem I was having was. Although little smokestacks are really easy to build. They're very cheap and I could just do that and not have any pipes at all. I'm just going to do it. We're going to do it this way. We'll put this back to back and then one more. Yep. Right here. And then we made it over one. Yep. And now this is going to give it enough room for the trucks. Hopefully I think that's enough room. Is that enough room for trucks? I can, I can see if I pause this, if, if I pause these, this will be the, this will be the deciding factor here. If I pause these and they can still deliver resources to build these tanks, then I know that they have enough room. I kind of want to just see them drive through here. Um, and I do wish there was like some sort of, I want to say bridge, but I know there are bridges. I know there are ramps. Um, but I, I, I wish there was, I don't know, some sort of like taller bridge, if you will. Okay. So they delivered it. That, that doesn't prove to me they can get in here though. I want to see them build this one. All right. Hold on. Oh, you've already built that one. Didn't you? You stink. Tell me you can get into this. Where are you delivering this to? Wait a minute. So does this mean that you can get resources into here? I mean, you can deliver the construction materials from that far away. Are you sure? How about here? Can you get it in here? All right. I don't know what to believe anymore, man. I feel like this might be too close to the pipe, but it's proving that it's not. So, okay. I'm going to let it go. Then we'll take the pause tool and just unpause all of these, I guess. I want to unpause them. How do I unpause them? Can I hold shift? Is that how? 
How about control? All right. Well, I guess I click them then. Somebody in the chat said I could highlight these and I wouldn't have to click, but you know, I don't know. I don't know if I could believe you. Gave it a shot. I don't know if I could believe you. All right. What in the world is going on here? There, that one. I like accidentally paused all of these things by going a little bit too far away. All right, so we now have iron, right? And I'm just gonna select iron here and iron here and iron here. All these things are iron. Now your second question, your next question might be, what about coal? What about coal, Charlie? Don't you need coal for this? I do, I do. I really do need coal, you're right. You are absolutely right. You could not be possibly be more right. Which is why we have all of this. All of this coal here is going to feed these machines here. Um, and actually splits with concrete, so it shares that resource. But we're going to have this right here come over. And now it's going to go over top of the over top of the, the pipe. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I'm, all, I'm all right with that. You can do it. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, it's good. Um, and then we'll have you feed. Um, well, I guess you can't. I guess you really can't get in here now, can you? Ah, shucks. I think I went too close, guys. Too close to the pipe. So the trucks can't get in here. Hmm. But... Yeah, well, we'll see how it plays out. I don't know. Like, right now, if it's going to play out well, these guys should have a place to go, right? So if I tell them right now to deliver here, here, and here, and here, like, they should be delivering that, right? And they're going to say they have no way to get in. Okay. Well, good thing I had a ton of construction parts because I'm going to have to redo this. Or I just go one tank. I think that's the cheaper way to do it for now. As long as we have steady deliveries, that will allow the trucks to get in here. Let's go one tank for now, okay? And so then we'll take you and we'll say that you are now here, 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 and here, okay? Can the trucks get in there now? Tell me you can, tell me you're gonna do this. Go on, you can do it. I don't have to select iron, do I? Do I have to specifically designate iron even though I told you to deliver this? Okay, I will. Tell me you can get in here now. There you go. All right, so I need to give them enough room. That's fine. Um, I wonder if the ramp is gonna fit right. Oh, ooh, schmexy. Unfortunately, that's not gonna allow the coal to do what it needs to do. But we can do this and this would allow it. So we're gonna put this ramp right here right here and um, the coal will come through here and get into the belts where it needs to although it's it still doesn't solve the hmm, that doesn't solve it no that doesn't help me the ramp would need to be somewhere else it need to be in here yeah it needs to be like this this is where the ramp is but then they can't deliver it can they can they deliver this hey tell me guys will you deliver uh, iron to this tank if I have this in place can you still get it into these tanks like if I tell you to do this will you will you do this now I want to see iron hit this tank okay good so we can have them just come up into here and they can deliver to any of these tanks they want to brilliant okay so with that being done I should now be able to get I said I was gonna do this really quick, right? I also said I also said that I was me. Uh, so we're gonna bring it around this way, yep. And then it can go through here, right? And now it can go this way. Um, it should be able to pop out right here, yep. Right here, yep. And then um, what we want to do is bring the coal into this area. So that we can distribute it kind of evenly is what I'm hoping to do. So I can lift you up from here. Should be just stage stage one belt or height. It should be fine. And 
I think, I think it's fine. I don't actually know. Can you get in there? You have to wrap around like that. Is that a big problem though? I mean, does that matter? It doesn't matter to me. Ah, oh, you're fine. That, that'll work. Uh -huh. So we'll go like this. All the way over, please. Yep. And then down. And then you will go from here and then in. Nope. Oh, one more. There. Okay. Coal delivered. Huh? That's how we're delivering the coal. <laughs> I just, I cramped it too close together. Um, this was, this is not like impromptu. This has been in my head for a while, but I put these things too close together and uh, I'm trying to make it work with what I've done. And I think this, this is actually going to make it work. Um, so we'll take you and go like uh, this. Yep. And then we'll take you and go like this. Take you and go like this. And then finally, this side goes like this. So this delivers iron and coal to all of these machines. Four blast furnaces that are going to be responsible for making the iron. Like this, right? For making molten iron, that's all they do. Nope, not copper. This. Now, of course, I need to exhaust it and get rid of the slag and all that stupid nonsense. Um, which is why we have this slag right here is all moving this way. And what we'll end up doing is wrapping this belt around and it just goes into a loop. We're going to send the slag in a loop, <laughs> which I think is a bad idea now that I've said it. Yeah, because otherwise this gets, yeah, these are going to stop. They're not going to constantly create, right? So that's a bad idea. Forget that. I was going to do that though. It was going to, it was going to cross right in front of this and then just come all the way around over top of this and then it was going to be like bam right there and now the slag is in circulation it was just going to pop right there to that that port uh but now uh maybe it won't maybe it won't do that maybe the slag it just has no destiny maybe it just has absolutely nowhere else it can go screw it we're going to do the loop anyway i think it's a dumb idea we're going to do it anyway <laughs> i want to go up yep up to stage three up to up three yep up to three and then we're gonna go all the way around like so uh-huh here nope one more over because otherwise i don't know what else to do with the slag if i don't do it the way i was gonna plan it anyway so put it like this straight over yep and then it comes like this and then we line it up with this and it gets brought in kind of like over here. Okay. And then it will meet up with this belt, which is they're going to continue on and meet to about here, I think is where this ultimately ends up terminating. Um, and then we want like more of these to process even more crushed slag. Right. Uh, so what we'll end up with at this point is having to destroy this belt, which is what I'll do here first. And we'll copy this tank. Oh, let's get rid of this first. Here we go. Get rid of this tank. Go here and then here and then one more like so. All right. Then this belt comes all the way across. Yeah, it hooks up right here. Okay. And then from there, we want two more of these things. One, two. Okay. The top parts here are going to come over and meet up like, uh, no, I think it was, no, 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 I think this is exactly where I want this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that, cause this is going to need to terminate somewhere. So maybe we'll have five of them. Five would be a good number. That way I don't have to like, yeah. Cause then I have to both terminate at the center one. That's, that's fine. I like that better. Three or two? Two. Yeah, right here. And then you are going to go from here. I, yep, this is fine. It's two. All the way over like so, but also here and here. Okay. Final. Final. There, there, and there. They all feed into the same, I want to say a tank network, but yeah. They all feed into the same tank network. 
now we'll see the coal start making its way right through here and it's going through all these these uh these different tanks and stuff like this right and so uh we can quick deliver it around so that they can start queuing it up inside the blast furnaces that's probably good we have a huge worker deficit i'm not that concerned about it to be honest um we're eventually going to fill these jobs but um if i really wanted to like min max it i guess i could say we don't really need a whole lot of these workers right now so we can shut those off um you know we really don't need these two things here so like these ones can go off these ones here can be gone off too uh so now we're down to a four worker deficit which is again not that big of a deal we've got actually quite a bit of fuel now which is nice and four worker deficit is kind of whatever right um so this is how this is playing out i'm not sure how i'm cutting this so i may have explained this already or not but originally my my plan which i now realize it's bad uh <laughs> was to just take this uh, belt right here that's got this, this slag, the crushed slag, um, and just loop it into this system, right? Off it goes. But the problem with that, of course, as you might have known, is that you are now going. we're now going to have crushed slag and slag all mixed together, which is no good. Uh, no bueno there. So uh, we actually have separate belts because this is all slag here. No big deal. Let's just get this whole thing built. There we go, all the way over there. Now, I could also start making rubber. We've had this done for a while, but I just haven't I haven't bothered to do it yet because it's not it's not really all that important. We have a, such a great iron system at the moment, like very stable iron supply, 1,620 iron right now, that it's just one of those things where I don't care. Uh, like I could just trade for it right now. It's not a big deal. Eventually, if we start using a lot more rubber, then okay i'll make more I'll make my own but right now like the the simplest way to make that rubber right now is to use fuel to do it and i don't want to use fuel to do it i'm not i'm not interested in that so if we start using a lot of rubber then fine um i'm sure with all the belts and stuff that i've built you know you'd think i would be out of it but i got 99 left so cool whatever uh 98 left i guess we'll have one for each of these little tiny belts but whatever and now we got research complete for chemical plants and fertilizers. So like now I can start my fertilizer system too, which is going to make me happy. Um, the trench is done. Okay. So I have to make a decision on that too. Um, but at the moment cars can move through this by just getting into the trench and going out that side. Uh, there's also an exit right here. So they can also go that way or like around here and then in and that's easy to do. It's fine. And then lots and lots more fields for the food which hopefully that means these containers start getting super full and then i can also place i think two more i can also i can i can stack this again if i want to like this yeah well i can't do it necessarily ground's not flat enough for that right here but the trucks can still get there and that's the thing that's most important there we go okay so have we done okay here <laughs> this video is super long i'm really sorry um you probably like it some of you may not maybe i've already lost some of you because it's too long but um when we come back to the next one we will get steel going and i think i'm also going to worry about getting fertilizer going uh for the moment i i do need more people so i am kind of like waiting for this population to go up uh, so i can click this button and get more but that's hasn't happened yet so whatever i'll just keep grinding it but see here too we can start getting crushed slag i can also transform it all into gravel and sand and stuff and then the sand can be you know placed over here i probably could have just filled this with sand that would have been interesting to do you know but i can always grind it into rocks and everything it's just that everything is so easy with crushed slag and then we just need to figure out a way to move the crushed slag to be used somehow like i need to use it in some way it just isn't happening so we'll tell it to do this because it's all hooked up to that system but i don't really need these two yet these two are exclusive to this line uh yeah okay so when we come back for the next one right steel we're gonna get going on steel and i have to flatten this out again and also gonna get looking at fertilizer so that we can i believe anyway make food faster um, from the fields that we have 
fertilizer is going to take nitrogen to use as well as ammonia so we can probably start looking at storing the nitrogen and i think i will do that by just putting fluid storage over here and i think i'm just gonna like uh well ideally i would have done it like this but maybe i could just ooh this is an interesting idea now i don't know how many plants i'm gonna need for now i'll i'll just do it like this yeah i don't know how much how my factories are gonna look but this will allow me to store a bunch of nitrogen and we'll just kind of do it like this it really could just be a small pipe. Is that true? Seriously? Oh, right. I see, because it's level one right here. You know what? That makes this actually easier, because now I can just put this right up against it. I don't even need to leave that extra space anymore. There you go. If you're going to make me wrap around anyway, then I might as well embrace the wrap. Embrace it. Mmm, feeling, feeling pretty squiggly. I like it. Good, good belt spaghetti there. Okay, guys, super long video. It's been fun. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.